In this video, you will learn how to quickly connect to a site using FileZilla or FileZilla Pro. In the host box, enter the host name or IP address. You can prefix the server name with the protocol name. FileZilla supports FTP, FTPS, SFTP, while FileZilla Pro also supports S3. Enter the username. Enter the password. Enter the port number or leave blank for the default port number. Click the button and FileZilla will connect. In this menu, you can clear the fields, clear the history, or choose a previously connected server. For other protocols and advanced options, use the Site Manager to create a site and connect. In this video, you learn how to quickly connect to a server with FileZilla and FileZilla Pro. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use FileZilla and FileZilla Pro Site Manager. The Site Manager is where you configure and organize the server connections. You can open it from the menu or pressing Ctrl S or Command S on Mac OS. To create a new server connection, choose New Site. Name it as you wish. In the right side, you can configure your connection. Connection details depends on the protocol type. Some options may not be available for all protocols. You can configure both the background and the tab color. In the Advanced tab, you can configure the server type, proxy bypass, the local and remote directories that will be opened when the connection is established, synchronized browsing, and directory comparison. To learn more about directory comparison and synchronized browsing, watch the videos in the description. And last, the time offset from the server time. In the transfer settings, you can configure the transfer mode. The transfer mode configuration is available only for FTP. To know more about transfer mode, watch the transfer types video. You can also configure the number of concurrent connections. And last, the care set tab. You specify the character set used to communicate with the server. Your server connection is configured, and now you can connect to it. In the Site Manager, you can create folders to organize your servers. New sites are created under the selected folder. You can drag existing server connections to the folder. The folders are shown as submenus in the drop-down toolbar menu. Rename the server connection, delete it, or create a copy of it. You can create a bookmark for a connection. To learn how to use bookmarks, watch the bookmarks video. Last but not least, you can configure FileZilla and FileZilla Pro to open the Site Manager at Startup in the interface settings. Choose the option to open the Site Manager at Startup. In the next run, the Site Manager opens at Startup. In this video, you learned how to use with FileZilla and FileZilla Pro Site Manager. In this video, we'll teach you how to transfer files with FileZilla and FileZilla Pro. In this tutorial, you will learn how to transfer files using FTP with FileZilla and FileZilla Pro. While we use FTP, the instructions also work with all the other supported protocols. To learn how to configure connections with other protocols, watch the other tutorials you find in the video description. Launch FileZilla or FileZilla Pro. Select the connection you want to use. Wait until the connection is completed. On the left side, you see your local files. You can navigate to any directory in your local file system. On the right side, you see the files and directories on the remote server. Now you are ready to upload files to the remote side. To transfer file, you can simply double-click the file name in the file list. You can also right-click in the file name and select Upload to transfer files to the current remote directory. If you need to transfer several files, just select them, right-click, and choose Upload. You can also use the Transfer queue to transfer several files and directories. First, add directories and files to the Transfer queue. Then, just start the queue processing to have your files uploaded.
To transfer files from the remote side, you proceed the same way. First, create a new local directory to store your files. To download one file only, just double-click it. Select and right-click to download several files. The transfer queue also works for file and directory download. Then just start the queue processing to have your files uploaded. In this video, you learned how to upload and download files using FileZilla and FileZilla Pro. FileZilla Pro is fast and reliable, plus it supports a variety of other cloud protocols. Amazon S3, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Storage, Google Drive, Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, Amazon EC2, Backblaze B2, WebDAV, and SharePoint. Are your website files ready to go? Time to get your copy of FileZilla Pro. Go to FileZillaPro.com and buy it with confidence. See you at the next video of the FileZilla Pro series.